Welcome to Knockout Crypto. Thank you for following that channel. Um, go ahead and follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Knockout Crypto. You can um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitter here to get some of our best information as quick as possible. I uh, just want to let you guys know one of the uh, articles that we found today. Two things, big things that happened today I want to share with you guys. One, Bitcoin dominance rate hits 50% for the first time since 2018. This is a sign that altcoins are bleeding lots of value. Um, so Bitcoin now makes up 50% of the entire cryptocurrency market capitalization. Shortly past um, 3 UTC on August 11, coin market cap Bitcoin dominance rate and indicator that tracks the percent of total cryptocurrency market capitalization contributed by the leading cryptocurrency with 50% for the first time since December 19, 2017. At press time, Bitcoin's market capitalization now records uh, $105 billion, which is about $901 million more than the market capitalization of every other cryptocurrency combined. Um, Bitcoin dominance has been on a steady incline over the past few months, currently representing a 14% increase from May 1st. It has been the same time period that the market dominance of all other cryptocurrencies have largely been on the, on the decline. And when we're seeing that, you look at coin market cap, um, Bitcoin dominance 50.8. The total market cap of cryptocurrencies is 217. We haven't seen levels this low since November of 2017. Bitcoin's price is $6,425, which is represents about a 75% drop from the all-time highs in December. But what's more interesting is the drop in Ethereum down to 328. We're seeing XRP at 31 cents, Bitcoin Cash at 581, EOS at 521, Stellar at 22 cents, Litecoin is below $60 at $59 right now. Cardano is 11 cents, Tron 2 cents, Moreno. Moreno to me is probably one of the key indicators in the crypto market. If the market is going up or down, I usually look at Moreno to see if that's the case. Moreno is $94 right now. Um, IOTA is 54 cents. Ethereum Classic is 13.66. Um, after they had just went on the bull one with the news. I mean, Ethereum Classic was $18, $19 two weeks ago because, you know, it was going on Coinbase, a lot of good hype behind it. NEO, 19 cents. Binance Coin, $11.81. Um, Zcash $161.36. So we're seeing a lot of coins um, take a lot of hit in value. So what should we do? Should we sell or should we hold? Should we panic? Um, a lot of people weak hands right now are panicking. We know that the 2018 low was about $5,800 for Bitcoin. We haven't hit that level yet, but we're pretty close to the bottom lows for the year, which is $5,800. Um, so what should we do? Should we panic? Should we, um, you know, what should we do during this time? when you know everything is going down how do we um how do we move forward i can tell you don't be a weak hand it's what they want and i found this article and i felt, found that this article is going to be the um the gist of this video it's very encouraging this article i'm going to give credit out to cm kid this is a great article brother i really agree with his opinion here um he's also on twitter you can follow him there but he, this article is a great article i'm going to read it to you um, this is my opinion right now. The whole crypto investor market is currently massively overreacting to this SEC ETF delay and in general losing their shit right now. It's said for over a year now that in order for the proper mooning to begin, a few jigsaw, jigsaw pieces needed to be placed. One, Wall Street, my general term for banks and institutional wells, need to get involved and that the major banks will start to buy out crypto exchanges so that they have data information feeds. Done. Before Wall Street enters a new market like this, just like many commodity markets in the past, first they will create a futures market. This way they can manipulate and suppress prices of cryptos without owning any cryptos as they can make it short the market. Done. Wall Street will need custodial services because they really don't want to mess around, or mess around with wallets and private keys and the risk of being hacked. So they will want to store it somewhere fully insured. Done. Wall Street would then bring about the first Bitcoin ETF so that hedge funds can play with the crypto space without, without actually buying any cryptos. Almost done. The first thing to remember here is that when a Bitcoin ETF is finally passed, that ETF company will have to actually go out and buy billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin and store it somewhere. And these boys won't just buy it at market price. They will drive the price down so they get more Bitcoin for their buck. And then they will store it fully insured at a crypto bank with custodial service. That, that's what Coinbase is to Wall Street, a retail exchange for the average Joe and a crypto bank for the whales. So I'm not surprised at all we are having a last minute tree shake as they're just trying to scare away all the weak hands. Those currently pulling their hair out, checking coin market cap every 10 minutes and questioning whether cryptos will ever get back to all time highs. 
don't be a weak hand. I'm going to repeat this again. Don't be a weak hand. They are trying to shake you out. They want these prices as low as possible as they go into getting the custodial services and getting the ETF um, started. We know the ETF is coming. Um, you know, we know the back Wall Street company is getting in at November. We know the ETF is coming probably sometime between now and the end of January 2019. They want in and they want in bad. They want in the crypto market. All of the pieces are almost in place now for the next. Uh, I'm going to say it again. Don't be a weak hand. Do not be weak. All of the pieces are almost in place now for the next fractal surge up. The second the Bitcoin ETF is approved, I bet my bottom Neo that the ETF for um, ETH won't be far behind. So that's what he's saying. It's going to be the, after the Bitcoin ETF, there's going to be a, an Ethereum ETF as well. And then the options market won't be far behind that. That will attract more traders. Then the derivatives flood gains won't be far behind. And then there will be leverage. And after a couple of years of easy public accessible leverage, and that is when you need to start worrying about getting out of cryptos. By then your pension fund will know that I have a small crypto allocation. That's your signal to get out. When pension funds start adding a small crypto allocation, with the property you have leverage and you can buy a house 10 times more than you, what you can afford. With equities, you can buy and sell two to five times more stock than you can afford. Right now, the public cannot easily amplify their holdings. This is a major reason why we are nowhere near peak bubble. In 2007, the average stripper in Florida owned seven apartments. That silly leverage got in the housing market. Right now, I doubt even 1% of stripper, strippers own any cryptos. Don't get me wrong. I'm fully aware that most participants in this market right now are in pain. Many are probably 60 to 90% down on the portfolios, and the strategy of holding isn't sitting too well with the more impatient speculators. I also know that many people who made six figures profit in 2017 are now only sitting on four to five figures profit. Hell, I traded my 25K portfolio up from 25K to 1 million in a four month period. I took a couple hundred grand off the table to diverse back into my businesses to create some real cash flow income streams. So, sat here right now, I'm looking at vastly diminished in the low six figures. But through exiting the market for most of the Bitcoin crash and dancing in and out a few times, I actually got over double the amount of tokens than I originally had, even though I extracted some profits. Regardless, there's a lot of sour and bitter, pe bitter people around right now. Many are blaming others, but ultimately, as an investor, you are responsible for your portfolio. Ultimately, as an investor, you are responsible for your portfolio. Many jumped in with way more risk capital. Some have left the market completely, which is a good thing in my opinion. The good rich quick wind mooners aren't good for this market. They repel the more level-headed investors, which in turn slightly extends the time it takes for this industry to go mainstream. Most of them are first. Most of them are investors who have never invested before, and cryptos are their very first investment, which is why so many people are being duped into the most basic of scams like OneCoin, DazCoin, BitConnect, and USI Tech. <laughs> so it's been a bit of a roller coaster for them. They got caught up in the hype of Bitcoin to one million in one to two years time, and now it's free falling past seven thousand. This is actually the best investing lesson that they will ever learn if they heed and learn from this. Remember, if you heed and learn from this period of pain, so if you're into cryptos, you need to be in for the right reasons. You're in for a short to medium term until the bubble pop when the public come rushing in in mass. This won't happen until the early adopters of the adoption cycle come in. Crypto are as easy as online banking. There's an established naming service just like the websites have URLs and there's leverage so your waster mate Dave down the pub can remortgage his house and also amplify his Bitcoin holdings. You're in cryptos with no more than risk capital. That means you won't lose your shit or, or feel suicidal whenever the market does its annual 30 to 70% drawdown. You're in form. You know it's going to be an extremely erratic market for at least the next 10 years and that will, there will be an endless string of scandals, events, and sensationalized news announcements. You're aware that this is a short time, short term, highly speculative bubble which will most likely pop at some point. So you're playing the greater full game here and then the long term buy, hold, and never sell game once this market matures. Just, we, we, just like hoovering up the blue chick blue chip stocks that were still operational after the tech bubble fallout. Stocks like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and IBM, they're still here after the bubble. By being informed, you can retain the bigger picture, which is all of the above, and that whether you got into BTC at 19K or 10K will be relatively insignificant compared to the sheer potential Bitcoin and the rest of the market could grow to. Amazon is now $1,900 per share. I'm pretty sure you'll be happy if you bought in at $20 per share or $50 per share. Hell, even $200 is cheap. 
So I hope this helps. It's just my two cents. And I personally feel that there are blinding bright times ahead for us. Blinding bright times ahead for us. But you need to ensure that you adopt my Kryptonian portfolio and that you frequent your local strip club to maintain your cutting edge market research on public adoption. A little joke there, but um, the gist of the article is so true. We have we're nowhere near main mainstream adoption for crypto. Nowhere near that, but it's happening. Um, and I told you guys about the back article and about what they're trying to do. And the SEC ETF is coming. We know this. They wouldn't be doing all of this stuff if they don't want in the game. They want in the game, and they want to buy their Bitcoin cheap. That's what they're driving the price down right now. So we're going to see, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Bitcoin drop to 3200 $3,000 Bitcoin. Not surprising. I could see us go half, half lower from where we're at right now. Don't sell. I'm telling you. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying don't manage your portfolio. I am saying, you know, have good risk management, manage your portfolio. But know what's coming. Know what's coming. We are, we are headed to a bull market that we've never seen before. Um, and it is going to be amazing. And I think we really need to keep, keep, keep in mind what's coming. The Bitcoin ETF is coming. They are making crypto more accessible for the public. All of that is coming very soon. Um, when Microsoft, Starbucks, you know, when they get involved in the crypto, they're coming to take, uh, you know, they're coming to take over. So it's coming. So right now you don't want to be a weak hand. Research good projects. Make your investment. Think, you know, one, two, three years down the line where we're going to be at, especially um, 2020 with the Bitcoin halving. There's so many things that are happening here in the next year and a half. Uh, cryptos is going to be very interesting to watch in the next year and a half. But in the meantime, don't be a weak hand. Don't sell everything you have. Look for good projects, great projects. Invest in them because they'll be around. Amazon was in the tech bubble crash. They're still here. Microsoft, all of those companies, Apple, they're still here. IBM is still here. So, yeah, we went through a little bubble with the retail investors, but we haven't had the bubble from the early adopters and the institutional investors, which is coming. And when that comes, you want to be into um, cryptos that you know that are going to be around. So right now, look at things as being on sale. I'm not sure I'm jumping in right here. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I think we have further to go down. I really think. 3200 3400 Bitcoin is a, a solid place to go before I say we've bottomed out. I know a lot of people think 5800 is the bottom. I can see us going at one more level lower because I don't think we have that, had that final flush. And I'm warning you that in August and September, if these Bitcoin ETFs are rejected, we're going to see that final flush where you will see Bitcoin drop to 3000 I'm warning you that now. So, yeah, this, um, thank you for watching Knockout Crypto. Let me know what you think about the video. Um, let me know what you think about being a weak hand. Don't be a weak hand uh, right now. Hold on to your cryptos or find a way to get more tokens um, up. But, but keep your belief in the market. Don't lose your faith in, in, in cryptos. Crypto is going to revolutionize a lot of things. Blockchain technology is a revolutionary, uh, revolutionary technology. Thank you for following Knockout Crypto. Subscribe to our channel. I know the subscribe button is on the bottom right hand corner. It's uh, underneath the video. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Um, uh, follow us on Twitter and YouTube. Also, go to Knockout Crypto. You get our more in-depth videos and our more in-depth research at knockoutcrypto.com. Thank you for following.